Hi, what's your name? My name is Mercedes. And what film did you do for Film Week? Uh, I did a film called Dancing with Jacob. Can you give me a brief synopsis of it? So it's about a, a skater girl. She's like a junior in high school, and um, she loves dancing. And there's this girl, you know, there's always that popular girl who's like, you're not going to be able to do it. And she's like, I can. I'll be the best dancer out there. And the movie is pretty much just filled with a bunch of mixed emotions and like a twisted ending because it's like, like you think that Jacob will get the girl, but in reality, you, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> so being a producer, writer, and director of this movie, uh, how did that help you move forward with this movie? Like, how did it make you have full control? Um, well, being, being like, you know, obviously like, because I wrote the script, directed the script, produced the script. Um, I wanted it like how I wanted it. Like, so along with the cinematography, there's certain angles I liked. Um, of course, other people had their opinions, but I was just like, no, I just kind of took control of my own, and I like, I was pretty much like holding everyone's hand towards the whole thing. So you're the youngest film maker at Film Week this year, at 18 years old. Uh, what inspiration do you have for younger filmmakers like you? If anyone younger than me, like if they're doing films, you could do it, like whether it could be with the cell phone or like you could just work with what you have. Like that's what I usually do. I just worked with what I had. I wrote my scripts. I produced it. I uh, used my connections that I had, like my friends or like any like a lot of the drama department students because I'm still in high school. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I just took some of the drama department students, uh, some of the film students, and we all came together and we made this really cool film. So uh, what high school did you go to? Uh, I attend El Dorado High School at, in um, Albuquerque. Do you have a lot of support for your films there? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I actually filmed at that school. So they let me film there in the auditorium, and they also let me film um, outside for, like, you know, for, like, the walking sh scenes and stuff like that. Um, they, they, are, they, did, they did support it a lot. So, like, so we're having someone come for the yearbook, and they're going to be taking lots of pictures for the film festival, too. So being from New Mexico, uh, how do you like the film? And all the film industry in New Mexico and how it's been booming so far. Uh, I'm very happy with it because I was like thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna have to move to LA. Yeah. Like, I can't afford to live in LA. I'm 18 years old, man. <laughs> like, like I can't live in LA. But I was like, but I will do it if I have to. It's my passion. It's something I, I strive for. And to hear that like, and to hear just like, more of the film industry is moving this way, it makes me happy because like. I can, you know, now work with new people, lots of people from Hollywood, which I have before. I have worked with Netflix, with the Albuquerque Studios, and it's just been a blast since a lot of them have been coming, and I'm pretty happy about it. Like, I'm excited. So do you see, like, a lot of New Mexico traditions coming into new films, like, around here? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Um, along with the with that new Breaking Bad movie, I don't know if you've seen it, but there you could tell, like, it's, it's a lot of a lot of New Mexico like stuff like that you know like the doghouse even though that's probably yeah. <laughs> US but like to me that's like you know that's like in that location that specific location a lot of people know that we only have like one there I think I'm not too sure about that but yeah and how do you like filming in New Mexico like the backgrounds and all that uh, I like it a lot I love it because um, the weather is either perfect or it's like cold so like if you want if you want it to be rainy but you also want it to be a good temperature so you're not too cold you can film in the summertime in New Mexico, and if you're if you want it to be sunny, you can. If you want it to look tropical, go up to the mountains. If you want it to look uh, dry, go out to um, somewhere in the where it's empty. I don't know, like somewhere where it's empty like that. I don't know. It's like perfect because we have like all of the weather and stuff, so it's I like it. Thank you. It was an honor to interview. Oh, well, nice meeting you too.